It's time for another day of social. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and welcome to my channel. This week I have been featuring tutorials on how to best export your video to a variety of different social media platforms, and this tutorial is on Instagram. And now this tutorial is going to be divided up into three parts, okay? The first part, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your sequences inside of Premiere Pro for the three different types of aspect ratios that Instagram accepts for videos now. So there's obviously the square format, that's one to one, that's the first one. Then there is the vertical, which is four to five ratio. And then there's the 1.91 to one ratio which is the landscape format, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to set up all of those. The second part, I'm gonna show you how to export them best with the best bitrate settings for compression. And then the third part, I'm gonna show you how to then take those files from your local hard drive and get them on your phone, okay? And then you can upload from your mobile app on Instagram, but it's kind of a tricky process and I'm gonna be using the iPhone. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, I have a 60 second teaser here inside of my timeline. It's a snippet of the tutorial that I posted yesterday on best export settings for Facebook. And I wanna export this little teaser to put onto my Instagram page. So right now it's in a 16 by nine format at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This format doesn't work the best for Instagram. Right now the duration, the length of my video is perfect. It's exactly 60 seconds, which is the maximum duration that Instagram has, right? You don't have to do 60 seconds always. I mean, most people only watch for, you know, maybe 15 seconds or so, but that's besides the point. Anyway, I'm going to create a um, new sequence presets for those three aspect ratios that I mentioned before that work best for Instagram, okay? So first go to your project panel, select new item, go to sequence. And now we are going to make a new preset, right? But we're gonna start with a DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second. Choose the frame rate that works best for your native footage, okay? Then you're gonna go to settings. The first aspect ratio for Instagram um, that we're going to create is the 1800 by 945. Now you'll notice this isn't the 1.91 to one landscape ratio that I mentioned before. It doesn't appear that way, but it actually is. If you take the number 21 and you multiply it by 1.91, you get 40, which is pretty cool. But yes, so this is the landscape format, the 1.91 to one, but Premiere Pro has it as 40 to 21. So don't get confused, it is correct. So gonna save this, save preset. We're gonna call it IG landscape and we're gonna call it 1.91 to one because it doesn't allow you to type in a colon for some reason. Hit okay, and it's just gonna take a second to save the custom settings, okay? All right, so we did that one. Now we're gonna create one more. Same thing, go to digital SLR, go to 1080p, 1080p 30 frames per second, go to settings. Now this one's gonna be the four to five ratio, okay? So what I'm going to do is change the frame size here, the horizontal, to 864 and the vertical here to 1080. And you'll see it's now a four to five ratio. And so we're going to save this preset as IG. Uh, we're gonna call this vertical because this is a vertical ratio, four to five, okay? So I'm gonna save. And now the last one that I'm going to do is the square format, which is one to one. Okay, once again, digital SLR, 1080p, 30 frames per second, settings, just change the horizontal to 1080. And now we have a one-to-one -one ratio, it's square. Now we just have to save the preset. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because then you never have to do it again, right? It's kind of at first you're like, well, why am I doing this? Well, it's important to have them saved um, in your custom bin so you can just select that when you're trying to export to Instagram okay so let me go ahead and select I'm gonna work with the four to five okay just to show you how to do that today so I'm gonna create a new sequence using this preset all you have to do is select it 
hit OK. And you'll notice here that it is in this vertical format. Make it a little bit bigger here. It's in a 4 to 5 ratio, OK? Now I'm going to do the pancake timeline again where I drag one of the sequences down so I can drag and drop footage into the 4 by 5 sequence. So what I'm going to do is just take all this footage here and literally drag and drop it into the 4 by 5 sequence, OK? So you want to keep existing settings, right? You don't want it to change back to the 16 by 9. That would destroy the whole point of creating that custom preset. So keep existing settings so it stays 4 to 5, OK? And then I'm going to just delete Facebook for IG because we don't need that open anymore. And now you can see that the footage is in this 4 by 5, um, you know, ratio here and it's a lot more cut off. It's cropped essentially because there's other parts of the image that the frame does not allow. But you know, we can scale this down if we want. If we wanted to add text above and below like I showed you yesterday um, for Facebook or you can just reposition it. So if you click on the clip and you go up to effects controls, you can reposition the image inside the frame. And as I see, if you scale it down here, you can see some black bars above and below. If you want that, you can have that and you can add text above, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring it back up and reposition it. Instead of going through each clip individually here, that's 16 by 9, and um, you know adjusting the scale, what you can do is just copy this clip by hitting Command C. And then if you select the other uh, clips here in the timeline that are 16 by 9 that need to be readjusted, select them, right click and then paste attributes and we're just going to paste the motion. Okay? So now that looks good. The text at the end needs some readjusting. Let's go ahead and scale this down. There we go. Great. Okay. So now that that's scaled in, we just have to fix the subscribe button here. I'm going to shift the position over. Make it a little bit smaller. So I'm just sort of playing with it. You guys can do the same thing. And the Facebook icon needs to be smaller. So this is just customizing it right to the four to five. So now I'm going on to step two. We're going to export. I'm going to click here inside the timeline. I'm going to go up to File, Export, Media. Now we're going to make sure that H.264 is the format. We're going to have a preset match source high bit rate. We're going to have our output name and make sure that it's saving to the correct folder. So we have to click on that and I'm going to call it um, IG Facebook teaser. And then what I'm going to do, come down here to video. This is great. It's matching the correct aspect ratio, the four to five that we set up in the sequence. That's fine. The only thing we need to adjust is the bit rate. We're going to change it to variable bitrate to pass. And this is a bit high right now. The estimated file size is 71. It's a bit high because I have to save this on my mobile phone. So I'm actually going to reduce the bitrate to about 6. And now it's at 43. And I'm going to change this to 10. And so, you know, this will change. You can make it higher if you, if you can, if it's a shorter video. So I would even bring it up to 8 if you had a video that was like only 30 seconds or something. But because it's a longer video, it's a bigger file size, right? So I needed to keep it at a good balance. So I kept it at six, target bit rate and a maximum of 10, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is just hit export here. Now that it's done exporting, the next step is to now get the video file saved to my camera roll on my iPhone so I can upload it to Instagram. And what I'm going to use since I'm on a Mac for you Mac users out there, this is going to help you. I'm sorry for the PC users. I don't have a solution yet using a similar process, but I know that there are other solutions out there. So the message, um, the messages app is essentially connected to your iCloud account, the iMessage system that iPhone uses. So you can actually text the video file to your phone and save it to your camera roll. So all you have to do is just enter in um, the phone number that you want to send it to. inside of Messenger and literally just drag the, f the final product here inside of the iMessage dialog box and then hit return. And it will just take, you know, 
a little bit of time to send, but then after it sends, you'll get a text message notification on your phone. All right, everybody, so that's it, and I hope that you found it useful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with somebody that you think might find it useful. If you wanna learn something new, go to my website, premiergal.com slash tutorials and make a request there. I wanna know what you want to learn, okay? So that's it for now, and I will see you guys tomorrow.